Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We just got in this device the other day from the Amazon Vine program free of charge. This is the Razer Jungle Cat. And this will work with a select number of smartphones to basically turn your Android smartphone into something that kind of resembles a Nintendo Switch. Now it's not very compatible though. I believe the only phones that it works with at the moment are the Razer Phone 2, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. That is it because they have a custom case here that uh, lines up with the device. Although it does appear that you can use it as a standalone controller with something else if you wish to do so as a Bluetooth controller uh, at its heart. So let's unbox it real quick and then we'll have a full review soon on the main channel at lon.tv. We'll look at latency and all that other good stuff that we typically look at. So this is the controller itself. And by the way, this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this unboxing, nor is anyone reviewing it or approving it before it gets uploaded. So it looks like similar to the Switch, it's got a little docking station that you can use it standalone with. And as you can hear, everything is very clicky on here, but the analog sticks are not. But the analog sticks click. You've got them up top here with the uh, D-pad below and then the buttons below the other stick. So that is the layout. I'm not sure I'm so crazy about that layout, but that is how it is laid out. And again, it docks similar to the Switch. All right, so that's step one. Uh, these analog sticks feel very close to the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con sticks. They even look very similar to those. All right, so let's see what else is in the box here. All right, so we've got the Jungle Cat instruction book. And then it looks like we have our phone cases. So this is the one for the Razer Phone 2. We don't have one of those. Uh, the Galaxy Note 9 is what we do have one of. And then we've got another case here for the S10 Plus. It would be great if they made more of these available, uh, but that at the moment is all that will work with it because I've got a Pixel 4, a Pixel 3a. I got a bunch of Android phones that I can't use with this. But the good news is, that Jake, who helps us out here on the channel, happens to have a Galaxy Note 9. So let's slide this in. By the way, this case does not feel all that strong. It feels kind of flimsy here, although it's really more of a mount than a case, I suppose. So we're gonna slide that in here. And you can see here on the side, it has um, slots for these joysticks or these Joy-Cons or whatever you wanna call them to snap in. And then you've got yourself your game controller. Now, what you'll note here is that this will cover up the USB-C port on the phone, so you can't charge the phone or plug it in while you're using these controllers. The USB-C ports here on the bottom of each controller are just to charge the controllers themselves. It won't pass anything through to the phone. And incidentally, they don't give you any USB-C charging cables in the box to charge these things in the first place. Uh, they're, char they're promising a lot of battery life out of the controllers because they are using Bluetooth low energy, but nonetheless, they do not give you a USB-C cable or a charger to charge the controllers themselves. You'll need to make sure you have one of those cables to do it. Uh, so we're going to have a full review of this soon on the main channel at lon.tv. I'm really eager to see how these things perform. It feels okay, but this side feels really loose. Check it out. It's kind of like really wobbly there. And I did make sure that we were snapped in securely, but it's, it's flexing a lot. Look at that. And the same actually on the other side too. So... It doesn't feel all that stable to me. So again, we'll take a look at this and give you a much more detailed review on the main channel at lon.tv. More to come, stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including gold level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.